This is for the WBC Flyweight Championship of the World. Zamora is the champion, 32 years old, and despite just being one year older than as far as I mentioned, a wide gap in professional experience. Five foot two is Zamora, 65 inch reach, five three, 64 inches for Esparza. Zamora, the champion in the black, Esparza the challenger in the red and blue, she's wasted no time. Love the energy from Esparza from the get-go. I didn't expect this from Esparza. She's looking to end things quick here against Zamora, looking for those overhand rights. There's a left hook for Esparza. And you would think Zamora would welcome this, but not that quick of an attack. Talking to Esparza this week about the volume punching of Zamora. She likened it to what Sulem Urbina does, the last significant opponent on the resume of Esparza. And she says she believes the tactics she used against Urbina will be effective in a fight like this. Yeah, she expected Urbina to jab more, which threw her off, so she had to be a little bit more uh, focused in her combinations and looking for the right shots. Right here, she's definitely concentrating, con concentrating on the combinations. This could turn into a phone booth fight. Neither one of these fighters necessarily known as a KO puncher. Esparza just won that, and just as I say that, the champ puts the challenger down. And Esparza was getting a little bit too cocky, a little bit too aggressive there against the champion. Well, that's exactly what I said. In Team Zamora, they believe her power is the difference in this fight. What a turn of events. Esparza looked fantastic for the first minute and a half of this round, and then one punch from Zamora changes the narrative. Well, well, well. And here's the knockdown. It was an overhand right that was set up because Esparza was getting a little bit too offensive-minded and was Standing up with a chin in the air right there, got caught with a lazy jab. It was more of a flash knockdown, but it was a solid knockdown by Zamora. Well, I'm interested to see how Esparza responds. She comes out fast once again, so still interested in being offensively oriented, but she was countered pretty well there. I'm curious to see if she continues to fight as recklessly as she did. If this was the 100 meter dash, Esparza would be winning by two seconds. And in Zamora's corner, they said, listen, you got the knockdown, now relax, don't go looking for it. Stay, stay patient, stay poised, they will come back again. Well, Zamora does have 12 finishes in her 32 wins. But she can't get overconfident. We saw what happened in round one when she does. Yeah, she's trying to go punch for punch offensively with Zamora, but I think she's better suited to uh, be on the outside of that jab with the cleaner punches. Round three, and she's out of the blocks again. Good Straight right hand, hand yes. On another right. You know what? I think that knockdown may have been a blessing in disguise for Esparza. See, Esparza pot-shotting now. She's, she's doing single shots now and minding her defense, punching and dipping. This is her fight. And then go back to the jab. Hey, you talked about Zamora being the volume puncher. Esparza is putting on that cape right now, it looks yeah, that, like. That was a little flurry right there, but before that, it was just it was just single shots. Concentrating, just like that. Concentrating, digging down with pinpoint body shots. That's going to set up the shots upstairs. Nice combination again, a flurry from Esparza. Zamora trying to track her down. Oh, big left hook, big left hook from Zamora. Yeah, before that she got hit with an overhand right. She might be shook a little bit, Esparza. And I will say this, Esparza 
has put out a ton of energy through these first four rounds. Yeah, her knees buckled going to her corner right there. She might have been right. shook by those two punches. Again, this is for the WBC Flyweight Championship of the World. Ebeth Zamora from Mexico is the reigning champ. Esparza said, today my dream comes true. I'll become a world champion. I'll wear that green belt, but not so fast as Zamora dropped Esparza in round one and crushed her with a left hook in the fourth. She may have, Esparza may have looked winded in the corner, but she's, she's not looking winded right now. She's punching nice and crisp, clean punches, tight and sharp. See, this is the fight that Esparza is going to win. Boxing behind a jab like this, not fighting the champion's fight. Zamora welcomes war. Esparza, she has that Olympic pedigree. Fight behind a jab just like that. Run, run Zamora into the big shots. Yeah, you don't get the nickname La Roca by being a stand outside boxer, do you? Exactly. There you go. You can't hurt and paralyze a rock. Good body shots right there by Esparza on the inside. Oh, nice inside right hand for Esparza. Sergio, what do you think the strategy is to come out so explosively from the corner? You know, that's usually intimidation, and, and I want to show that you have the legs and the fresher legs to the 38-year-old champion, but you don't intimidate fighters by coming out like the roadrunner like that. You intimidate them by maintaining discipline and fighting your fight and strategy. Good exchanges again on the inside from both fighters. But both fighters are fighting good on the inside. So, I mean, on the outside, on the outside, it's as far as it's looking really sharp. On the inside, it's pretty even. Zamora might have the upper edge. And still being aggressive, still being offensive, mining, coming up, forward. Uppercut with the left. Esparza content now just to stay on side and hammer it out. Inside, but backing up Zamora, backing up the champion on the inside fighting. Both of these fighters showing tremendous heart. Stop punching. Step back. Step back. There has not been a lull in the action at all. And Zamora coming forward with that poker face. You can't even tell that she's tired. Both fighters landed really solid body work here. Right there, you see Zamora landing that left hook to the liver right there. And there's that left uppercut that was blocked and right there countered by Esparza. Excellent inside fighting by both fighters. Two rounds to go. WBC Flyweight Championship hangs in the balance. The challenger got off the canvas in round one and has fought a fantastic fight, but Zamora, as we expected, refusing to slow down. No surprise in Zamora's corner. Keep coming forward, throw your punches, block and counter. That's exactly what she's doing. If you got a heavy bag at your local gym, go there sometime and throw a thousand punches. You can't do it. Nice flurry at the end for the champ. And I think maybe Esparza thinks the fight's over. There's still a round to go, everybody. There's one more round. And hey, you've got to fault the corner for that one, Chris. The corner was just as happy as she was. James, James Cooper apologizing for celebrating too early. What do you have it scored, Chris, through nine? You know, as far as it was celebrating, but I've got it dead even. 85-85 entering this 10th and final round. Obviously, it is an unofficial scorecard, and everyone at home always seems to tell Chris that on Twitter. Don't worry. He doesn't read it. But this is a very close fight, and it's been a very good fight. I don't agree with Chris often, but I have it 5-4 for Esparza. But considering that knockdown, it's dead even. Zamora finishing strong, but will it be enough? They'll slug it out as we head towards the final bell, and this crowd in El Paso loves it. What a fight. It wasn't quite Rocky Apollo, but they'll play the music anyway. Will Esparza's dream of becoming a world champion come true, or will La Roca's title reign continue? We'll find out momentarily as the scorecards are tabulated. Jeremiah Gallegos has the numbers and the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 championship rounds of boxing, 
Let's give both of our ladies a huge round of applause. We now go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Daniel Sandoval seized the bout 97-92. Judge Wilfredo Espero has the bout 95-94. And Judge Lucy Rogers seized the bout 96-94. To the winner by unanimous decision, in the new Toby 